Good morning, Charlotte Steppers. What's going on? This is Miss Ward coming to you from uh, Thursday morning, gloomy Thursday morning here in South Florida. We're in that rainy season. Boy, I'm telling you, the electrical, uh, this, the appliance repair spike in Florida because of the storms. I mean, all these control boards are getting shorted out. Great time to make sure you add some of those uh, surge protectors on your truck for the refrigerators and other appliances. Educate your customer, make it better. Be the light at the end of the tunnel. So what's up, y'all? I'm about to get out here and get it. First job this morning is gonna be an LG. You know, we are gonna make it do what it do, as the young folks say. Um, I was sitting here thinking about the haters, right? And not really the haters, just broke ass people, broke mentally, spiritually, physically, financially, and otherwise. You know, I was listening to some of my favorite YouTubers, and you know, it's all about abundance. You know, somebody sent something to me, and I was like, "You whoa, 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 let me, let me, you know, boom, boom, boom. And I'm thinking, how the heck you going to respond like that when um, you all about the uh, abundance mindset? You know, I realized that uh, I have an endless supply, period, dot in, and so does everybody around me. You know, I just realized when I start seeing that lack or, or scarcity stuff slip in, I'd be like, oh, talking to the wrong people. Oh, 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 this ain't how you move. This not how you think. This not how you got where you are and where you going. Tighten up. So I think about all those things because at the end of the day, it really comes down to one thing and pe people say it, people don't believe it till you do it. Mindset, mindset. Mindset, mindset. If you can't get around nobody that got the right mindset, and guess what? You're going to have to be by yourself, get on YouTube, immerse yourselves in those videos and that content, you know, that actually supports that belief system because the most powerful thing you have in your life is your mind. Your mind can take you places that your body cannot, and that's serious, real serious. She out here real comfortable, ain't she? All right, girl, I ain't hating on you. Be you, love you. But um, at the end of the day, you got to realize that it all begins with you. You got to release all those shackles on your mind, your feet, anywhere they at, you know, because a lot of times when we're raised in certain situations, you know, you got to realize the people that you dealt with did the best they could in the mindset they were in and where they came from. You know, the responsibility of children is serious. This is why I don't understand why so many people have them that can't take care of them. Like, literally. I don't understand that. You need to start preventing it before it starts. Use protection and then some. You know, unfortunately, there's some situations that are unfortunate. But at the end of the day, these babies don't ask to come here, man. That's why I'm the coolest auntie in the world. Until my nephews and stuff, get, they get grown. When they get grown, it's a whole nother thing. Don't even stop to talk to me. Get out here and get it. Get out here and get it. You have been coached up to excellence, so I don't expect no drama. Get in the sister situation, holler at your auntie, your your, your co-parent, mommy shell, whatever you want to call me. But at the end of the day, you better get it. Because you got to leg up. I don't care what you say. Think about it. It's a lot of kids, a lot of people out here ain't got nothing. And at the real, and you know what's the trip? Some of the most successful people, the lowest lows is a reflection of the highest highs. And it's deep. That's why I ain't no excuses. When people come to me with excuses, I be like, really? Really? This what we doing? Really? And I have no respect. I can't have no respect. Because, I mean, shoot, every strike in the world, let society tell it was against me. But I just, I'm out here doing it. And doing it well. But anyway, get your mindset together. Stay focused. Get away from those people that are, aren't like-minded. And, you know, we can preach this to the day we die. If you're the smartest one in the room, get in a new room. Everybody in my circle can bring something to the table. They might not feel like that, but I know that they have some strong points in areas that I admire. I'm not dealing with you. If I don't deal with you, just think. Just realize, I ain't, there's nothing we got to talk about because you're not bringing nothing to me and I can't bring nothing to you. And if I'm bringing something to you and not getting something in return, then I'm an idiot. Let me, you know, and it, it doesn't have to be money. It could be support. 
I had a conversation the other day and I was like, yo, I haven't seen a dime, da da da. And what people don't understand is that you may not have it, but you always have time. You always can take some weight off of one of your mentors and do a, a, a task. But people so damn slow, they have no clue. They lost. They just want to be in that number. Man, you better get a new number. Got to get your game up because just like Erica was saying the other day, Miss Williams on Classic Climb, that 90-day reset is real. If you can focus on some, some one thing for 90 days, whether it be financial, whether, I mean, it could be your credit. Like, literally, 90 days, man, you could be sitting with a 400 and be, be at 650, 750 in 90 days if you focus. Like, the game is real. But if you're not focusing, anything you don't focus on, it's going to be chaos. I'm telling you, chaos. You have to have discipline. You have to have structure. Trust me, I know. Like right now, I'm half asleep, but guess what? I'm out here and I am, it's, it's a habit. It's a habit for me to get up on a daily basis. People be like, how do you do it? You don't have to do it. No, I do have to do it. Because the reality is, if I slip, it's on me. Everything that happens is on me. So I am responsible for my victories, my failures, my triumphs, and some of my tragedies. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. What you gonna do, lay down and die? <laughs> Man, please, go to the graveyard and talk to them folk. <laughs> I guarantee they'll switch paces with you any day. But with that said, solid steppers, you know how we do. I'm signing off, and I expect y'all to get out here and step and go get it. Be blessed.